Hi everybody, so what you're looking at is the Mars Ingenuity helicopter sent there on the 30th of June 2020 from Cape Canaveral and arriving on the 18th of February 2021 at the Hezero crater on Mars and it was sent because nobody was sure if they could do this job or not. The atmosphere on Mars is about 1% as dense as the atmosphere on Earth, so nobody knew if they could create a helicopter that would fly. Now, the Ingenuity, it's about half a metre high and has a wingspan of about 1.2 metres across. And despite everybody's worries, Ingenuity took off and has been flying ever since, exceeding expectations. Now NASA is a US government agency, so all of their stuff is freely available, but beyond NASA uh, being part of their government, they're also incredibly helpful people. So what they've done is created a 3D model that anybody can download and upload into your favorite 3D slicer. Now with the Windows program, there's something called 3D Builder, that opens up and is just sent with the operating system and this will accept the NASA model so you can import it straight the way in and play around with it because a lot of the effort went into designing that blade, designing the helicopter blade so that it would work in such poor atmospheric conditions. From that model you can extract the blade. Now it's a little bit ropey so a little bit of smoothing was required but from that experience extracting it, smoothing it, importing it, I've printed the Ingenuity blade. So there it is. And one thing you notice almost immediately about this thing is its similarity to that. This is a goose feather I bought online as a piece of decoration and we compare it to the Ingenuity blade. The Ingenuity blade is astonishingly feather-like. So there's this idea that most aeroplanes and wind turbine blades are based on the wing of a bird. They're very similar to what a bird's wing looks like. The Ingenuity blade is based on the feather, that they're very similar to what the bird's feather looks like. So, of course, I'm really interested in that for its potential within wind turbines, given that it actually manages to fly in such a rarefied atmosphere. So, of course, I've printed three, and I've printed a wind turbine holder. Now it's got this on the bottom because of the modular design I do with these things. I can stick this straight on my wind turbine generator. We have our wind turbine. We glue those in there, get it into the wind. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And there it is put together. Now in my haste, I actually put these on the wrong way around. You can see that it's got that leading edge and it's at an angle to that edge. That should have been the other way around. But never mind, I'll just point the wind in that direction, hold the turbine here, and it'll have the same effect. Of course, it won't be as good because I've got the turbine here, but it'll still give us an indication. And I have made these files available. So this uh, wing, I've smoothed it out incidentally and added this bit here and I've created that bit there. And I've put them on Thingiverse so that you can actually download this and give it a go if you want. And we do have, if you remember, this blade system that we created with that wind turbine. These are the right way around. And um, we've already taken that on the hill and tested it, so it's a quick and dirty impression of how well this will do set against a standard wind turbine blade design. We can stick this in the air and see whether we can turn it, and if so, how fast. And then we can swap it for this and see if this actually turns, and therefore how fast. Now it's quick and dirty, it'll just give us an indication whether this is any better than this. But let's take it out and see what happens.
So I went and measured the wind speed with an anemometer and it's 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 meters per second. So I'm not surprised this one didn't really work. This one really needs about 1.2 meters per second to get going. But as I say, we know this one works because we've already tested it. We've already had various designs on that. But at that kind of level, this one, which is roughly the same size, worked a treat, didn't it? I mean, it's all very equivocal. It's only a quick and dirty test to see if this will actually work because there's this idea that this was designed for a helicopter to create thrust therefore it couldn't work as a wind turbine but you've got to remember is that movement is relative if this is spinning to move wind then moving wind will spin this it's the same thing and it turns out that's perfectly true and that worked a treat now i did have to stand behind it so i was basically a wind wall which is why i held it out a little bit to try and see what would happen because I got these the wrong way around. My job now, reprint them, put them the right way around and do some testing on it. But I wanted to show you that the Ingenuity helicopter blade design works beautifully when it comes to wind turbines on good old planet Earth. They reckon we should get much better conversion out of that because that is supposed to work in an atmosphere that's 10% um, of the density, something like that, 10% of the density of the Earth's atmosphere. So we're going to have much more push. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.